Hey guys, if you have not heard, our buddy Art from Art and Bree YouTube channel, him and his sister Anna just came out with an online fermenting course of different ferments and how to do it. And so Lorraine's been taking that course. Yes, right? it's so cool. I love this, it's so thorough. I love it. So we're, we are actually gonna be doing a giveaway. They asked us to do a giveaway and we're gonna be doing a giveaway of giving away uh, one person this course so if you guys want to be a part of that I'll leave a link down the show notes where you can sign up we're gonna pick a winner on Tuesday November 3rd and that's the day that the uh, registration opens to take the course the registration is actually closed right now you can't sign up for the course right now but you can sign up Tuesday November 3rd and that's the day we're picking a winner for someone to win the free course. Whew, we had a huge storm coming through here last night. It was crazy windy and rainy. It was pouring down. This is about as much as I've seen, how high I've seen this little stream of ours. It doesn't usually get much higher than this. Let's check on our chickens. It's gonna be a wet day, chickens. Freddy. Good morning, Freddy. Birdies. Good morning, birdies. Fuzzy muggins. We got two eggs. Good job, guys. The rain is supposed to stop today though, and then it's supposed to be sunny the rest of the week. That's a good thing because we need to plant our garlic. We need to get those in the ground like now before it gets really cold. Hey guys, this is our broom closet, AKA my home office, shipping office, also a homeschool office where we do everything in this office or store everything in here. Lorraine has some apothecary stuff uh, her natural skincare line that I need to ship out and box up on our Etsy page. This stuff sold out our first time when we posted it, and also our nourishing cream uh, or Lorraine's nourishing cream. This stuff um, is probably our number one seller. Are those some fermented carrots you just made? Yes. So they're they've been fermenting for a couple of day, days now. We're gonna taste these a little bit later, but first we need to plant some garlic and we're gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so these are all of our garlics that we have left that we harvested earlier in the season and we had planted these last year and this is our, our harvest. And so we're gonna actually pick a few of these out and we're gonna replant these. All right, so we are actually planting garlic a little bit late this year and that's because we really couldn't decide if we wanted to plant it at all because these won't be ready to harvest until about June or July. And these are the most easiest, simplest thing that we grow here. But the truth is we might not be here at this property uh, when we're ready to harvest these. And what I mean by not being here is we might move. So we weren't too sure if we wanted to plant them if we weren't gonna be here. And even if we're not here, you know, somebody will get to have these and harvest these. The beauty of growing garlic is that you can continue to plant it year after year and then you don't, ha essentially you don't have to ever buy any garlic if you're always growing garlic. Because these are the ones that we harvested so we could just keep on replanting these every single year. You wanna save some for next year and then you can just replant those. But if you don't have those uh, available, then you can always buy these. You could go to the farmer's market. Preferably, we like to get the organic garlics and you could either go to the farmer's market or you could go, we have bought some at the just a regular grocery store. Uh, we bought organic garlic and we just replanted those. But it has to be organic because if you get non-organic, supposedly there's like sprout inhibitors sprayed on them to keep them from sprouting. So you'll wanna be sure and get organic garlic. And then now we're just breaking them up. 
We're peeling them. We're gonna wanna take the skins all the way off, but we just wanna open up the skins just a little bit on the top. Just kinda like pop that open. Yeah, that's what you want there. Just a garlic, garlic clove. Yeah. And it and pushes one out. Look at this. And then when you plant them, this is the root here. So compare that to this. This is the root down there. And this little stem here is where it grows out of the ground. When you plant it in the ground, you want to do root side down into the earth. So that way it can grow up. Or guys, we, we might end up being here. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> ended up being a really warm day today. It was raining all last night, but now it's all sunny and hot. But we're gonna plant these garlics right here in our garden beds. So what I'm doing is just digging, not a deep hole. I mean, it's <laughs> a half of my hand <laughs> uh, deep. And then we're just gonna drop the garlics in and give them plenty of space. We've got the root side. This is where the roots come out. And we're gonna drop it right in. And we always plant garlic about this time in the fall time, October, November. And we've had really good luck with that, planting around this time. Yeah, you can pretty much set these and forget them, which I love about them. I think you can plant as early as like mid-October for our zone, but we've always planted at the end of October, beginning of November. This is the first raised bed that I built about over four and a half years ago, almost five years ago. And it's just made out of untreated pine, just regular pine wood, and it's holding up great. Really simple build, and it's just, it's not treated. Can you count those, Penelope? Let's count them. So we have about 50. There's about 50 cloves of garlic that are gonna turn into 50 heads of garlic. Yeah, last year we planted Almost a hundred, so twice this. All right, so now we're gonna cover these up. Just gently pushing the earth over, back over them. Really nothing to planting garlic. It's not scientific, it doesn't have to be precise or perfect. And because we're getting some freezing temps, when you plant the garlic, it's good to um, cover it a little bit. And then we usually use straw. Now, garlic is pretty hardy. I mean, we've had up to 18 inches of snow on garlic. It bounces back really good. Here, it's just a kind of like a really light cover. You don't have to go crazy on it. Um, another thing you can use, you can use leaves. And, it, you know, you're just trying to protect it from the frost. You could also use a row cover. We've done that too. Um, maybe when it gets like really super snowy, throw a row cover on it. Um, but really, the garlic is pretty hardy. And that's it guys, it's pretty easy. Now you um, wait. Yeah. Just wait till in early June, you're gonna get the scapes. If you're planting hardneck, squa uh, hardneck garlic, you wanna pull those scapes out. We have videos on how to do that. And then in June or July, you'll wanna harvest your garlic. All right, so we have some fermented cauliflower and fermented carrots. I have been taking Art and Anna's fermenting foundations course it's a digital course online and we are about to try some of the ferments that we started okay. right okay so this is curried cauliflower is that good this is really good this one <laughs> has to be my favorite and i think we knew that going into it even though i do like the smell of that one it's yeah. okay it's good i like that one it's very good but this one's my favorite <laughs> One person will win uh, the course, Art and Anna's Fermenting Workshop Online Course. And uh, so we'll leave that link down in the show notes where you can sign up and then we'll pick a winner on November 3rd. And that's also gonna be when the cart opens for their entire workshop. All right, so that's it guys. We have some fermented carrots for dinner, some cauliflower to add to that. And we appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you guys next time.